Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Today's video is just going to be um, a little bit of an unboxing. I went ahead and I purchased a couple of fun treats from uh, Box Lunch the other day. I had a customer that was requesting um, a Wally boot that she could put a succulent in. So like a Wally boot planter from the movie. And I looked all over Epcot with the Flower and Garden Festival and they didn't have anything like that at all. And then when I was looking at pins one night, I found this, it's a Wally boot. And yes, it's got like a little plastic succulent in there. Um, but because I am a huge Wally fan, I went ahead and I ordered one for myself as well. And I ordered one for her, but this was right on the Box Lunch website. Um, so if anybody else wanted it, you certainly could go ahead and grab it. But this is just so cute. Look at that. It's that little Wally boot. And it's got that adorable little succulent. And I took it out of the packaging because I wanted to see if this could be removed so you could put an actual one in there because that was what she wanted to do. Um but it seems like that's not necessarily possible without breaking it. Um, but she did say that she still wanted it, so I did go ahead and I completed um, the transaction for her. And now I have one as well. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but I can guarantee it's gonna be somewhere back here because it is just adorable. I'm loving that. And let's see, that was, originally it looks like it was $19.99, but I know that's not what I spent on it because I think it was, a certain percentage off, I wanna say it was around $15, so that would've made it around 25% off. Um, but I would've paid the $19.99 because it's just awesome, and I'm a huge Wally fan, so that just kinda of fits right with, with the aesthetic of some of the different areas of the office. And then the other thing that I picked up from Box Lunch, and I don't know why I have been hesitant to purchase these. I have no reason. Um, other than I just hadn't been online or gone to box lunch in a while, but I purchased myself five boxes of this new, new-ish um, stitch mystery set. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open those today in this video. Um, you know I'm a stitch collector, so any and all. <laughs> um, any duplicates that I get will make amazing traders or even pins that could go um, in grab bags or, or things like that, but probably traders because these tend to be a little bit more expensive. Um, they originally sell for $9.90, but again, I know I got these boxes. I think they were about 25% off when I purchased them. So before I do the pin unboxing, um, just a couple quick reminders. I am a personal shopper, so if there is anything anybody ever wants me to pick up for them at Disney Springs or at Booster Packs and Beyond or any of these other places that I go to, you can send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. If you just have questions about what do I mean by personal shopper or any of that, go ahead and send me an email and I'll get back to you. Uh, the other thing is we do our monthly giveaway here at the channel. So you're gonna to wanna to be subscribed to be able to be entered for that. Going to um, do the drawing right on the last day. Actually, it'll probably be the first day of September to make sure everybody who wants to enter um, has a chance to do that before the end of August. Um, but what you are entering, what the drawing is for, is a box of customized Disney goodies. So if you are a new subscriber in the month, uh, you get three entries and existing subscribers always have one as our thanks. And then you get additional entries for commenting on any uploaded videos over the course of the month. So with all of that done, let's jump in and see which new stitch pins I have to go on my stitch pin board, which is it looks pretty good at this point. I'm gonna have to do um, a video where I kind of walk you through some of my different pin boards. I'm very pleased that I went ahead and I started displaying more and more of my pins. The binders were just getting, um, they were getting a little bit definitely overcrowded. And this way the, the pins kind of work as wall art. So that's always fun. Now, I don't know which way is up. I'll show you this first. And boy, their pin post is not quite the same. I'll show you that. It might be upside down. I'm not, oh, awesome. It's Stitch and Bananas. That was actually out of all of them, I think one of the ones that I would want the most because it's just too cute. Uh, the beach chair, the sand, and maybe the inner tube, but the uh, stitch with the little bundle of bananas is 
precious. So that'll be really cute on that pin board. So that was the very first pin out of the five. Let's see, hopefully I don't get too many traders, too many duplicates, but if I do, I know that these I know that these trade pretty easily. Anything stitch and definitely anything that's kind of a lounge fly mystery. Oh my goodness, it might be the same. It feels kind of like it's the same. All right, I'll show you. Yep, all right, so Stitch and Banana. So I have at least one trader out of this, which will be good because somebody who needed the Stitch with Bananas will be a very happy person <laughs> when they see that I have that one. All right, so. This is box three. Oh, please don't let it be another one. Oh no, well, whatever. <laughs> They're just fun. They're just fun. Uh, no, I don't think that it is. It doesn't feel that way and I can't tell like what is up, what is down. It's probably upside down for you. Oh look, it is Stitch in the Sand, which is one of the other ones that I really wanted. <clears throat> so again, I'm looking for all of them actually because I think they're all adorable, but I would love Stitch and like the lounge chair and Stitch and the little floaty there are probably a couple of my favorites out of all of them, but truthfully I'd like the whole collection. All right, so now let's see what do we got out of box four here. Out of box four, we have it doesn't feel like either of the other two, so that's really good. It means that maybe it'll be a little unique, and it is Stitch in the Pineapple, so that is precious. Stitch popping out of the pineapple, it just, it's so Stitch. It is just so Stitch. So that is a cute one. Now this is the last box, so hopefully um, it is not a duplicate, although duplicates are, you know, what they are. I think, and I can't remember because I've just ordered so many different things. Um, but I think I have a few more of these boxes coming in. Every once in a while, there will be somebody that um, will ask me to purchase something for them at like a box lunch or an online place because for whatever reason, they're not able to do that. And um, so I'll go ahead and I'll do it. And if I need just a little bit to get to... Um, you know, free shipping, I'll just make sure that I'm adding things to the cart, pins that I might be interested in or things like that. And I think I have a few more boxes of these coming in. I'm not positive, but I'll have to, I'll have to double check. I know I have an amazing Aristocats um, like pencil case or pouch coming in. And I'm pretty sure I had to add, I'm pretty sure that I had to add some things to that order. So we'll have to see if I get some more in. All right, so this is the last pin. I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, how cute it is. It is Stitch in his little inner tube. And that is just perfect for summer. So next year's summer pin board will definitely be having this little guy on there. That is precious. So to kind of recap, I have my Stitch in his little inner tube. I have Stitch in the Sand, two that I really, really wanted. So that's exact, that's perfect. I have Stitch in the Bananas, which also was one that I really wanted. And I have Stitch in his Pineapple. So out of five boxes, I ended up with four unique pins. And then I did get one that will become a trader. So Stitch with the Bananas. So if you are out there and this is a series of pins that you collect and you needed the stitch with bananas. Um, the pins that I typically look for are Stitch, Baymax, Wally, um, Mulan, anything Mulan, I am kind of all about, and Elliot from Pete's Dragon. I love Elliot from Pete's Dragon and those pins are so hard to find. They're so hard to come by. So if you are if you happen to have one that I don't have and you were looking for this buddy, or I'm going to update my trading binder as well, just to see if anybody wants to trade, just send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. We'll see if we can work out any kind of a trade so I can get what I'm looking for and you can get what you're looking for. And we will uh, 
hopefully be able to complete something so everybody is happy. Um, but again, just a quick reminder, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can get you entered into the monthly drawing and into the giveaway for the custom box of goodies. And then also if you are um, looking to purchase any kind of pin packs or specific pins that you can only get on Disney property, um, Disney Springs is where I'll shop or maybe in some of the... Um, hotel gift shops but right now you can't even get into some of the hotels to shop unless you have a dining reservation or you have a reservation there so um, that might be a little bit trickier but if you're looking for something at disney springs i can certainly help you out with that all the information on personal shopping is in the description box below i will have a animal antics video at the end of this for those of you that are interested in what my crazy little menagerie of animals has been up to you're going to want to stick around for that but until our next video, bye-bye.